Okay, first things first, you'll need to convert your PNG into an SVG. There's lots of different software you can do this. This is Vector Magic. Uh, this is a paid software, but it is by far the best that I've used. Next, we'll save the SVG. Then we'll open up Fusion 360, insert SVG. I normally make these about 200 millimeters, the logos that I make. Okay, stop sketch. Select the logo, extrude it. When you extrude it, it, you're going to want to extrude it backwards. So minus 15, enter. So we'll make the sketch show back up. If you extrude it backwards, your sketch will still be on the front of the logo, which makes it a lot easier to work with. We're going to name this, this part of the logo, the background is going to be black. We'll title that black. We'll hit A for appearance. You just click and drag color, close, click on one of the letters you want to extrude, then click all the remaining parts that needs to be popped out. Not that. We'll pop it out about two millimeters. Right here, you're going to want to put new body. New body is going to separate these pieces from the background. Okay, now all your new bodies are here. Shift select those, name them whatever color. A for appearance, drag white over to these, close. We don't need the sketch anymore. And there's your logo. Now to save these individual pieces, if it's one body, right click, Save as STL. Okay. We'll name this one black. Save. To save all of the white, everything visible, uh, you can right click right here on whatever it's named, the file name. Save as STL. Everything showing, we'll save. We'll name this one white. Save, you can turn that back on. So it saved all of the white as one piece. You can go through and save each piece individually, but that takes a lot more time, a lot more files. And then we'll open the slicer, import both black and white. This is asking if you wanna put them together as you exported them from Fusion. Hit yes, and then you have your pieces. Uh, our, it automatically throws them together. Now you can click off to the side, and you can see the colors are already. You can set the color right here, and that's how we have it. Click and drag this. Make sure you do not click one piece of the body and drag it over, or else it'll mess up your file. So whenever you select it, click over here on the right, the full model. If you select one, it will drag it off of the model and then you'll have to re-import the bodies. So we have black, white. Make sure this is where you want it, the white tower. Everything looks good. Set all your parameters. Slice. Nine hours, 24 minutes. And there you go.